Hey, welcome to Bay. This time I'm gonna give you some phrases about music. And I'm really happy about this because it's one of my favorite topics. So I hope that you also enjoy talking about music. Before we begin, I have to remind you, DanishMastery.com, that is where the fun is. That is where the learning is. So go there whenever you have the time and check it out. All right, let's get going. Hmm. Jeg kan godt lide den sang. Jeg kan godt lide den sang. I like that song. Yeah. I got lide den sang. Mm. Den er god, ikke? Den er god, ikke? It's good, right? Den er god, ikke? Ah, oh, you don't have to say it, ink. And we're like, uh, Shilla and Sila and Copenhagen way of saying it. As some people say, like, Den er god, ikke? Den er god, ikke? Different ways of saying it. <laughs> uh, hvad hedder den sang? Hvad hedder den sang? What's the name of that song? Hmm. Hvad hedder den sang? Har du hørt den nye med Har du hørt den nye med og med i Lovens vejen? Har du hørt den nye sang med? It's uh, optional because the new year is just like the new one, so that is enough. Did you hear the new one or the new song with right? the artist who made it? Well, ah, my only song is. Min yndlingssang er My favorite song is Min yndlingssang er Okay, this one you gotta put a name first right? <coughs> Here you gotta put a name right? So you gotta say if Whoever it is, best song right? Yeah So la 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 Beste sang er. Beste sang er. Best song is. Right? Beste sang er. Alright. Næste. Min yndlingssanger og sangerinde er. Min yndlingssanger og sangerinde er. My favorite singer is Sanger is male and Sanger in is female. Right? Is that simple? Min yndling Sanger or Sanger in whoops. Er. Hmm. Whoever it is. Okay. Ah, mit yndlingsband er. Mit yndlingsband er. My favorite band is. Yeah, right? whatever it is. So band, yep, that's right. We took it from English. Unlings band. Although we do have the word Gruppe, right? like group. Uh, but nowadays it's just so common to say uh, band. Especially if they play instruments, all of them. Then definitely band. Yeah. Mit Unlings band er... Han, hun, en god rapper. Han, hun... Er en god rapper. He or she is a good rapper. Right? Of course, you can also just uh, take their name here. You don't have to say Han or Hun. So. Han Hun en god rapper. Han Hun har en smuk og flot stemme. Han Hun har en smuk og flot stemme. Yeah. He or she has a beautiful or nice voice, right? Now, if you watch the video about adjectives that I made uh, two weeks ago, then you'll know that smoke and flood are not exactly the same thing. But uh, you can say both, right? Sorry. <coughs> you can say both when it's about a voice. 
smoke stem, smoke stem, flood stem. There's a lot of good words you can use about your voice. So, uh, han hun synger virkelig godt. Han hun synger virkelig godt. He she sings really well. Right? Han, hun synger virkelig godt. Ja. Yeah. Nice. Hans, hendes tekster er meget gode. Hans, hendes tekster er meget gode. Ja. Yeah. Again, that's the possessive, ikke? Hans, hendes tekster er meget gode. Og meget gode. But nobody says might in real life, så... So. His or her lyrics are pretty good. Right? Texter. That is what we say. Yeah. It might not sound very beautiful or uh, lyrical, but it's what we say. Right? Texter. So. Melodien er rigtig god. Melodien er rigtig god. The melody is really good. Melodien er rigtig God. Oh yeah. Rigtig god. Rigtig, rigtig, rigtig god. Really, really, really good. Right? Ja. Den er nem at synge med på. Den er nem at synge med på. Ah, maybe once more. A bit slower. Den er nem at synge med på. It's easy to sing along to. So, at synge med på is like to sing along. I right? sing along to something. Yeah. All right. Uh, den sang har ikke nogen melodi. Den sang har ikke nogen melodi. That song doesn't have a melody. It doesn't have any melody. Hmm. Den sang har ikke nogen Melody. All right. Ah, den minder lidt om. Den minder lidt om. It it resembles or is similar to. Like, so minder om is literally it reminds of. Right? But this is a very common Danish way of saying it's similar or it's kind of like that. The Danish word for similar is lignende, but um, we use it in a slightly different way. Ain't not like you would expect. So minder om is very, very common. Like you watch a movie or you hear something, in this case music, and it reminds you of something you've seen or heard before. You're like, ah, den minder om. Right? It resembles or it's similar to something else. So it's very, very good. And minder here, and it's also a noun. It means memories. Like memories, like that. So yeah. That's some very good stuff. Okay. Kan du høre bassen? Can du høre bassen? Can you hear the bass? Yeah. Bassen. Yeah. Oh, by the way, a little uh, bonus info. Basse is also like a, a slang, kind of cute slang for someone who's a little bit choppy or fat. Right? Like if you have a fat cat like I do, you might be like, oh, little bass or store bass, oh, oh bass, where's the fat one? <laughs> but it's a, it's a relatively uh, cute and sweet way of saying it. Right? So, bass. <laughs> and, kan du høre bassen? Næste. Oh, jeg elsker den guitar solo. Jeg elsker den guitar solo. I love that guitar solo. Uh, I elsker den guitar solo. And pronunciation is different here. Guitar, not guitar. Guitar, that's how we say it. Okay. Prøv lige at høre de strøger. Prøv lige at høre de strøger. This one is, uh, this is like in conversation. You wouldn't see this in writing, I think. Prøv lige at høre de strøger. Listen to those strings. Right. Um, 
prøv at høre literally means try to listen. But in English, you know, you wouldn't say that. It would be weird. So the natural translation would be listen to those. And like you want to uh, get someone's attention like, hey, listen to this. This is awesome. And Pauli, I heard this. Kind of like that. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. I... Yeah. Det er et akustisk nummer. Det er et akustisk nummer. It's an acoustic track. Det er et akustisk nummer. Yeah, akustisk, that's pretty easy. Right? It's just typical Danish. Like, if an adjective ends with ik, like in English, like acoustic, realistic, a whole lot of other things. Uh, then it's isk in Danish, right? a lot of the time. Acoustisk noma. Noma is a track or song, also a number. I think it's a lot of things. Do, 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 do. Neste. Ej, nogen trommer. Der er ikke nogen trommer. There are no drums. Right? Trommer. That is drums. Now, uh, I've I've written this in a fairly, uh, how can you say, like layman's terms, right? Because I could write some terms that musicians would use. But uh, I think most of you out there are not musicians. So I'm using like the regular day-to-day terms. They don't trauma. They don't trauma. They got. Right. Neste. Okay, den er lidt lang, altså en kind of long one. Den er bygget på nogle meget simple akkorder. Den er bygget på nogle meget simple akkorder. It's built on some very simple chords, right? Yeah. Long sentence, but uh, very direct actually. Den er bygget, it's built on, like, and then the rest. Nice and easy. Eight. Neste. Ah, the meeste pop music is kedeligt. The meeste pop music is kedeligt. Most pop music is boring. The meeste pop music is kedeligt. Hmm. Yeah, some of these are just opinions, but you know, maybe you love pop music, but you want to say something else. And right? you can say the meets the rap music, the meets the rock music, the meets the classical music, like whatever genre you think is boring, just put it in here. Yeah, reggaeton. Oh God. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's see. Next. Hmm. Then song is so ains for me. Then song. Er så ens for mig. That song is so repetitive. Right? Ens for me. That's the key word here. Yeah, it's actually an interesting word because the English word repetitive obviously is something that repeats itself. Whereas ens for me is like one shaped ink or shape in or whatever. Because form is shape. Right? So the song only has one shape. So you hear love to love your baby and you're like ah, we get it we get it like, then a little ins for me so that slacks all right next huh. det er et interessant nummer det er et interessant nummer it's an interesting track det er et Interessant nummer. Oh, interessant. Well, nobody says interessant. We just say interessant. Like I mentioned this before. It's like in English. You say interesting. Most of the time you don't say interesting. Like, unless you're Kanye West. Oh no, then you say interesting. Well, anyway. Det er et interessant nummer. Ah, okay. Uh, jeg kan godt lide musik som... Jeg kan godt lide musik som I like music that So this is like I like music that You know Is new Is fresh Is challenging Is long Whatever eh? It does something I like music that 
yada yada. Ja. Jeg kan godt lide musik som ja, yeah. and this is good because then I'm not doing I'm not doing all the work for you and like you can add your own here. Whatever it might be. Yeah, after some of course, right? It's like that. It's like that, yeah. All right. <laughs> kan du godt lide rockmusik? Kan du godt lide rockmusik? Do you like rock music? Mm-hmm. Kan du godt lide rockmusik? Now, uh, rock is a relatively old thing compared to some other genres. So we say in Danish, Danish are rock. But uh, rap, we say with an English R, and we don't say rap. <laughs> there, there are some people who joke about it a little bit like rap, and like a talk like bah, 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 eh, rap, rap, uh, because the sound is a bit repetitive. But um, but yeah, uh, rock, that's a Danish R. Eh? Rock music. Can you call rock music? <laughs> All right. Ah, this one is a bit longer. Yeah, man. Uh, but then how do they make rap music? Hvordan har du det med rap music? How do you feel about rap music? Hvordan har du det med rap music? And uh, this um Hvordan har du det med is just another way of saying how do you feel about right? It's actually very very useful not only about music but almost anything right? Like how do you feel about the fact that something like, something happened Uh, it's super useful, and you could also put another genre here. Right? Again, it's rock music or jazz or techno or whatever you want to put in there. So, but then how do the mel? How do you feel about something something? Right, like that. Right. Hmm. Lytter du til klassisk musik? Lytter du til klassisk musik? Do you listen to classical music? Huh, I guess I felt the need to sound like a snob there. <laughs> anyway, lytter du til klassisk musik? Uh, exactly. Klassisk. By the way, klassisk is both uh, classical and classic. Right? Just so you know, save some time there. Definitely save some time. Neste. Oh, min far elsker jazz. Min far elsker jazz. My dad loves jazz. Right? Yeah. So it's basically the same like jazz, yeah, but it's it's like Danish way. Jazz. We don't say jazz. It's shorter. Jazz. Min far elsker jazz. Right? <coughs> Det er super. Det er bare godt. Okay. Hun er helt vild med R&B. Hun er helt vild med R&B. She's crazy about R&B. Uh, so we say R&B too. We don't say R&B. <laughs> that would be funny. We'd be like, what's that R&B? No, no, R&B is the same. Eh? Uh, hun er helt vild med. Ikke? Uh, er vild med. Uh, helt vild med. Ikke? Helt kind of emphasize it. Like really, totally. Like, like you're just crazy about something. You just love it. I mean, it's fine. You can say "jeg kan godt lide" and "jeg elsker," but it's really good if you can say "vil med," right? Because it's uh, more native-like. And uh, you could also say it about a person. Like, like you're head over heels. You're really, really in love. You know, you can say, "Oh yeah, vil med." I'm crazy about her. Right? Like you're wild with her. Yeah, that sounds weird in English, but that's the literal meaning. Right? Vil is wild. So, when I hate vil med R&B. Right. This and there. <laughs> okay, next time. Okay, long one. Hmm. I heard a lot techno there wrong. I heard a lot techno there I was young. I listened to a lot of techno when I was young. Okay, that's pretty simple. Uh, hørt is literally heard, and so we use both høre and lytte, like hear and listen, somewhat uh, interchangeably. But of course, if you do l- if you do use lytte, then you have to say uh, lytte til, right? 
Yeah, it's a little preposition that's important. But hører is fine a lot of the time. Eh? Og hvad hører du? Eh? Eller hvad hører du mest? What do you hear the most? Yeah, even though you're listening, it's also hearing. So, it's all good. Jeg hørte meget techno, da jeg var ung. Ung, 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 ung. I did, actually. Okay. Den slags musik hører jeg ikke mere. Den slags musik hører jeg ikke mere. Oh, mere. I don't listen to that kind of music anymore. Den slags musik hører jeg ikke mere. Nej. But as you can probably see, uh, musik is optional. Right? You can just say den slags, because that means that type or that kind. Right? Like that kind of stuff. So it's it's enough. Den slags hører jeg ikke mere. Also fine. Very nice. Næste. <laughs> Min yndlingsgenre er... Min yndlingsgenre er... My favorite genre is... And then whatever, eh? I already gave you a lot of them. So, of course, there are a few that I didn't include, but... Min yndlingsgenre er... Yes. Okay. Jeg hører næsten aldrig. Jeg hører næsten aldrig. I almost never listen to... And then you just put the thing there. Right? The kind of music you don't listen to. Or artist. Jeg hører næsten aldrig. Yeah. Næsten aldrig. Almost never. Right? Very nice. All right, so here you gotta put it before, eh? so you know, put the artist name or, or type of music or whatever, like the thing here. You gotta, and then you finish with this, something, something. Sia mig ikke rigtig noget. Sia mig ikke rigtig noget. Doesn't really speak to me or doesn't really appeal to me. It's not my kind of thing. Sia mig ikke rigtig noget. And this is a very nice thing. Uh, it's a very nice way of saying you don't like something. Of course, you can always say, jeg kan ikke lide, but that can sound quite blunt and very textbook. And if you always say, jeg kan ikke lide, it's good to have some options. And this is just one of them. Right? Something, something, siger mig ikke rigtig noget. Yeah. Awesome. Næste. Oh, very similar. Ah, jeg prøver mig ikke om. Jeg bryder mig ikke om dot 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 at something. Right? I don't care for or I don't like. Right? Oh. This is also nice when you want to say you don't like something, but you don't you don't want to be rude. Right? Then you can just say jeg bryder mig ikke om. Yeah, jeg bryder mig ikke om like, den slags musik, that kind of music. Whatever it is, you can put it there. Okay, næste. Jeg har lige købt ny album. Jeg har lige købt nye album. I just bought new album. So ideally, you would put uh, an artist name in here. Right? Whoever it is. Pet Shop Boys or whoever. Jeg har lige købt with possessive, eh? Ny album. I don't know who buys uh, albums anymore, but anyway. Yeah. Oh, this is very useful too. Jeg har lige købt. I just bought. It's literally, I have just bought. Uh, present perfect is uh, used a lot more in Danish than in English. Remember that. Okay, næste. Jamen, uh, de har fået gode og dårlige anmeldelser. De har fået gode, dårlige anmeldelser. It got good or bad reviews. Right? I included both, so we can save some time here. Gode, dårlige, good, bad. De har fået gode og dårlige anmeldelser. 
Yeah, so anmeldelse, if you can ignore the R here, because that would be uh, plural. Anmeldelse is review, ink, and anmeldelse, reviews. <laughs> it's, yeah, pretty straightforward. Yeah. Uh, very nice. Uh, let's see what we got. Ah, det er en smagssag. Det er en smagssag. It's a matter of taste. Right? Yeah, maybe you say different strokes for different folks or something like that. But uh, this is a very common one in Danish. When you sort of um, agree to disagree. Well, you know, depends on your taste. Det er en smagssag. It's a matter of taste. Det er en smagssag. Yeah. Right. Næste. Someone, someone, du, 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 er virkelig kreativ. Er virkelig kreativ. Is really creative. Right? Could also be about an artist, of course. Doesn't have to be a musician. I mean, it could be like a painter or whatever. Anyone. Er virkelig kreativ. Yeah. All right. Uff, jeg elsker at gå til koncerter. Jeg elsker at gå til koncerter. I love going to concerts. Jeg elsker at gå til koncerter. You could also just say koncert. Right? Koncerter, that's a concert. But if you say koncert, like concert in singular, that is also okay. They both work. Elsker det. I love it. I love it. And. <laughs> Næste. Hvornår var du sidst til koncert? Hvornår var du sidst til koncert? When did you last go to a concert? It's literally when were you last at a concert. Right? Var, like were. Hvornår var du sidst til koncert? Mm. Yeah, like that. Yes, I yeah, was at concert in last week. I was at concert in last week. I was at a concert last week. I last week. Last week. I was at concert in last week. Wonderful. Jeg godt tænke mig at se live. Jeg kunne godt tænke mig at se live. I would like to see someone live. So this is of course you would like to see someone live at a concert. Um, yeah, we use the word uh, live as well right? for concerts. And also uh, TV and, well, now, because uh, live stream, we would also say that. Oh, we live, and we're live. So, yeah, that, that is a thing in Danish. And this is also useful, because jeg kunne godt tænke mig is like, I would like. Right? It's sort of like, uh, yeah, I would like, or in Spanish you would say, gustaría. Right? So, it's sort of like a soft way of stating your wish. Right? Not so much like, I want it, and <laughs> like really strong, but more like, yeah, that'd be nice, you know, I'd like that. Yeah, kunne godt tænke mig. Yeah. Okay, moving on. Uh, spiller du selv et instrument? Spiller du selv et instrument? Do you play an instrument yourself? Hmm? Spiller du selv et instrument? Okay. Okay, this is long. You know, you can just put any uh, instrument that you play. Of course, there are more than these. Ah, jeg spiller guitar, trommer, bass, keyboard, etc. Right? Jeg spiller guitar, trommer, bass, keyboard... I play guitar, drums, bass, keyboard, right? and so on. Jeg spiller guitar, trommer, bass, keyboard. Yeah, it's hard not to sing or rap when you talk about music, isn't it? Right. Moving on. 
hvor længe har du spillet... Hvor længe har du spillet... For how long have you been playing? Or have you played? It's the same. Hvor længe har du spillet... So you just... You just gotta add the instrument, right? After this. Spillet. Har du spillet? Right? It's a present perfect. Have you been playing? Hvor længe har du spillet... Very nice. Kan du synge? Can du synge? Can you sing? I guess, uh, to be honest, people would rarely say it so directly, but it's still good to know the uh, the grammar here. Kan du synge? Kan du synge? Ja, ja det kan jeg godt. Okay. Han synger ikke så godt. Han synger ikke så, så godt. He doesn't sing so well. Nah. Han synger ikke så godt. And yeah, there are many uh, other harsher ways of saying this. And you can say he sings like crap. So here I just picked this uh, civilized one, if you will. Han synger ikke så godt. Okay. Oh, du har en god sangstemme. Du har en god sangstemme. You have a good singing voice. Uh, du har en god sangstemme. Sangstemme. And notice it's one word. Right? Sangstemme. No space here. That is really cool. And there's so many long compound words. Or maybe you think it sucks. <laughs> it depends. Du har en god sangstemme. Næste. Wow, hun er meget talentfuld. Hun er meget talentfuld. She's very talented. Right? Talentful, talented, talentful, full of talent. Hun er meget talentfuld. Yeah. And then, han er et naturtalent. Han er et naturtalent. He's a natural. He's a natural talent. Han er naturtalent. Mm-hmm. Now, uh, of course, I always have to say in these videos that in real life, you cannot expect people to say it so clearly. Right? Or in the same way. They might be like blurping it out. Like, <laughs> naturtalent. Han er rigtig god. Han naturtalent. Like, uh, sometimes we don't speak that clearly in real life. And I do try to include that here. But I also got to make it clear like clear pronunciation uh because you're learning but just be aware that in the real world in denmark people they usually speak faster and uh they sometimes mumble right or they stop mid-sentence because like hey i got another idea oh you know that's just how people are okay nesta and then duck the music hen are in duck the Musiker. He's a skilled musician. Dukti doesn't have to necessarily be skilled in the academic or professional uh, sense. But just like, you know, they, they're they good at it. They got skills, they got talent, but they're also kind of polished, they can practice. That's why Dukti. And Dukti Musiker. Nah. Okay, and this is the last one. Hun er en af de bedste nogensinde. Hun er en af de bedste something something nogensinde. She is one of the best ever. So uh, actually you can just say it without anything in here. You can just say hun er en af de bedste nogensinde. Hun er en af de bedste nogensinde. She is one of the best ever. And if you already know what you're talking about, if there's already a a clear context, then that's fine. But if you want to be more specific, specific, you can say like sangerina, or musica, or guitarista, or whatever it is. Right? So just put it in here. Ene di beste. And if you do that, then of course it's got to be plural. Right? Because she's one person, but she's from a group. She's from a category. So that is plural. Hun er en af de beste nogensinde. Nogensinde. Ever. That's a very nice word to know when you want to 
emphasize that something is just the best, totally supreme. Okay, that was the last one. So I want to say thank you so much for watching. It is very nice. I mean, this this is a special topic for me because music is just, I mean, who doesn't like music, right? It's some, it's some very good stuff. So thank you for watching. And uh, a special thanks to the members of the channel. You can see who they are here and you already know who you are. If you also want more videos like all the videos, then you can join. You can become a member of the channel. You're going to pay some uh, monthly amount. And then you have all the videos plus some cool bonuses. And you get some uh, PDF files too. That's, that's really good from these uh, recent slide videos. But maybe that's not your thing. You know, maybe you don't want to pay every month. You just want to do it one time and then that's done. Like, then you want to go to the website. Go to danishmastery.com because over there you can get lifetime access. Uh, so that basically means if you get the deluxe package, then you have all existing videos and all future videos. And there are three packages. You can check it out on the website. But yeah, the deluxe package is obviously the one with everything. You got the videos, you know, the one that... The ones that already exist and the future ones and you also get some bonus files like PDFs and some audio files and and more stuff. Right? So it's really sweet. It's really nice. Alright. Now I gotta check the live chat here to see if anything's going on. Oh we got one here. Oh we have two. Uh Danny or Danny in flight. Thank you for the video. I love music, especially rock music. Oh yeah, that's awesome. Thank you. <laughs> Uh, Anoop KR, do you have some classes as well? Well, yeah, actually I have one in 25 minutes. So I do private lessons, uh, but I'm kind of booked up with that. So uh, recently what I started doing is, is giving these uh, mini lessons, like 30 or 40 minutes once in a while. Uh, they are free, but then I record them and then they end up on the website and you can buy them there for like 20 kroner or something like that, right? with some PDF notes. So that's sort of like the replacement I'm doing now because I don't have time to teach everybody privately. So instead I decided to do these little uh, mini lessons once in a while when there's a little uh, free space in my schedule, so to speak. I'm doing one on Friday at uh, six o'clock Danish time. Like, yes, that's PM, that's at night. So if any anybody wants to join that, you know, just text me at uh, danismastery at gmail.com you know and i'll see if if we can make it happen because i cannot take everybody but you know a small group is fine so uh so yeah i think that answers the question all right guys thank you so much and have a nice day and uh <laughs> see you soon peace